Hey, what's going on in today's video? I'm going to show you how to set up a secure virtual private network using WireGuard and Home Assistant. I'm also going to show you how to configure devices like Android, iOS, and Windows computers to connect to the WireGuard VPN. So what's a VPN? A VPN or virtual private network allows devices to connect securely through the internet to another network. It creates an encrypted tunnel where you can safely transmit sensitive data, preventing people from eavesdropping on your traffic. When a device connects to a VPN, the device will look like it's connecting locally to the VPN's network, utilizing the network's public IP address. Now, WireGuard is a fast, modern, open source VPN protocol that aims to outperform other VPNs. It utilizes a state-of-the-art cryptography, and it is very easy to configure. It is also under heavy development, and it might be considered the most secure, fast, and simple solution for a VPN. All right, before setting up the WireGuard VPN, you need to have remote access configured on Home Assistant. If you haven't done that yet, I do have a video on how to set that up. You can find a link up here and also in the description below. After you have that configured, install the WireGuard add-on in Home Assistant. You would also need to install the WireGuard app on the devices that you would like to connect to the VPN. So first, open Home Assistant, go into Supervisor, Add-on Store, search and select WireGuard, and then click on Install. When the installation completes, go into Configuration and enter the following. For the server section, enter your .dns URL on their host. The add-on by default sets the server IP. However, you can still change it to whatever you would like. Just make sure that the IPs that you set up for both the server or the peers are not being used by other devices in your network. If you use a specific DNS, you can set it up here as well. The peer section is where you can configure devices that will connect to the VPN. So set up a name for the device and also an IP address. To make it even more secure, you want to manually add the public key for this device. So add the option public underscore key. Then on the device that you're connecting to the VPN, in this case an Android device, download and open the WireGuard app. Tap on the plus icon to add a new VPN, and then tap on create from scratch. Set up a name for the VPN, then on the private key field, tap on the generate icon, and the app creates the private and public key for this device. On their addresses, enter the IP address that you assigned to this device in the WireGuard configuration, and add at the end forward slash 24. Add the DNS service that you would like to use, separated by a comma and no spaces. We still need to add the server as a peer here in the WireGuard app. However, there are a few more steps to do on the server side. So copy the public key and tap on the save icon so you don't lose any settings. Go back to Home Assistant and paste the device public key under the public key option. Save the configuration and start the add-on. To add the WireGuard server as a peer on the connecting device, you need to locate the server's public key. So go into the Log tab and click on Refresh until you see the interface option with the public key information. That will be the public key for the server itself. So copy the key, go back to the WireGuard app on the other device, open the VPN settings, and tap on Add Peer. Paste the server's public key, set the persistent keep alive to 25 seconds, for the endpoint, set it to your .dns URL with the WireGuard port 51820. For the allow IPs, you can just set it to 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, .0, 0. The configuration here is done, so save the changes. All right, we have the WireGuard VPN configured in Home Assistant and a device is set up to connect to it. Now, in Android, you can add the WireGuard toggle under the quick settings in the notification panel, so you can quickly turn the VPN on and off. In an iOS device, there's a feature called on-demand activation. With that feature, you can have the device connect automatically to the VPN when not connecting to the home Wi-Fi or to a specific network. Unfortunately, this is a feature that is not available on Android, but hopefully is added in the near future. To add an iOS device to connect to the VPN, add another peer in the WireGuard configuration in Home Assistant. So below the current device, add the same options and set up the name for the new device and an IP address. Then on the iOS device, download and open the WireGuard app. Tap on Add a Tunnel or on the plus icon and then tap Create from Scratch. Set up a name for the VPN and click on Generate Key Pair. Then on the addresses, enter the IP that you set up for this device in the WireGuard configuration. 
Also add a DN slash 24 and then add the DNS servers. After that, tap on add peer to add the server's information. Add the server's public key. For the endpoint, add the .dns URL with the WireGuard port at the end. The allow IP set it to 0.0.0.0 and set the persistent keep alive to 25 seconds. Below we can see the on-demand activation settings. If you turn on the cellular option, the VPN will turn on automatically when your device is connected to the mobile network. You can also turn on the Wi-Fi option and set it to enable the VPN when connecting to a specific network. Or you can tap on accept this SSIDs and set it to connect to any Wi-Fi unless you are connecting to the network that you add here. The last thing that we need to do is copy the public key and save the configuration. Then go back to Home Assistant and add the public key in the WireGuard configuration. Save the changes and restart the add-on. So we set up an Android and an iOS device to connect to the WireGuard VPN. Now to connect a Windows or a Mac computer, we would also need to download the WireGuard application from the WireGuard website. The app for both systems is the same, so you'll be able to follow along for either OS. In the WireGuard add-on configuration, add a new peer with the same options from the other peers. Set up a name and an IP address for this device. Then on your computer, download and open the WireGuard application. Where it says Add Tunnel, click on the upside down triangle next to it. And then click on Add Empty Tunnel. The app generates both the private and public keys. Set up a name for the VPN. Then enter the following options and add the assigned IP address and the DNS servers. Below that, add the information from the server. So enter the following options to add a peer and add the service public key. Set up the allow IPs to 0.0.0.0.0 and add your .dns URL with a WireGuard port to the endpoint. And that's about it. Copy the public key and save the changes. Then in the WireGuard configuration in Home Assistant, add the computer's public key, save the changes and restart the add-on. The last thing that you need to do to connect to the VPN from outside the home network is to create a port forwarding rule in your router. So open the router settings and locate the port forwarding configuration. Add a new rule and set the name to WireGuard. The incoming port is set it to 51820. For the forwarding IP, set it to your home assistant IP address. The forwarding port is set it to 51820. And the protocol is set it to UDP. Save the new rule and you might need to restart your router to apply the changes. After you have that set up, you can disconnect from your Wi-Fi, turn on the VPN on your devices and connect to the VPN with no problem. So we set up the WireGuard VPN and configure several devices to connect to it. Now, how can we make the VPN even better? You could set up the AdGuard add-on that blocks ads on the home network and at the same time, it will block ads to the devices connected to the VPN. That would be something that I can cover on a separate video. So if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. All right. I hope that you found this video useful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video.